everybody, my name is Sal Sonic, and welcome to another reaction video. Well, yeah, reaction video. This one's off another Super Smash Bros. update. Version 6 is finally here. Yeah, available on November 6th, as you see here. Yeah, it's already November 6th. They, they showed this live at like around 6.30 in the morning. Man, I wasn't awake when they showed this. But anyways, I want to check this out. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Mr. Sakurai presents... Terry Bogard, my reaction to that. All right, Sakurai, take it away. Let's see him check out Terry Bogard. And then I might watch this one next, Legendary Wolf. As I know, this is only like two minutes long, unless it's just shown in that video, but we'll see. All right, let's let's do this. Reaction video. Yep, my name is Al Sonic, and welcome to another reaction video. Did I not say that? Yeah. All right, let's do this. I want to check this out. Uh-oh. What the hey? Why did it start from there? That was bizarre. Oops. All right. Hey, Hello, everyone. This is Masahiro Sakurai. Hello, from Sakurai. Sakurai. The Let's Super Smash again. Brothers Ultimate game was recently honored with five awards at this year's Japan Game Awards. Ooh. Nice. It's received a great many awards on top of that as well. Each award Ooh. is very meaningful to me, nice. so I would like to take the opportunity to extend my thanks to all those who have voted and to all those who have supported really nice. us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Without further ado, yeah. let's begin the presentation. Congrats on those rewards. First, we'll start with what the Neo Geo is. It refers to a 1990 video game console for use mm -hmm. in arcades and at home, as well as to the name of the system itself. In 1990, the equivalent of the Super NES had only just released in Japan, so if you wanted to play arcade games at home before then, the only option was to play the less polished ports on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Mm -hmm. However, with oh. the Neo Geo system, you could play the arcade versions of games at home with no drop in quality. Mm. 1990 was right around the year that I started working for a game company. Back huh. then, Japan had rental services for arcade games. In other words, you could go to a rental store, rent an arcade game, take it home, and play it. Play arcade games on the console thing. Yep, back then where After consoles that, were new, I guess. After that, home use, but a single game would cost about 30,000 yen. The games on a console rather than the arcade machine. But if you think yeah. about it, compared to this. playing a game in the arcade 300 times at 100 yen per play, back you're getting the arcade your money at the time, some people actually thought this was cheap. Huh? <laughs> really? I mean, there expensive. really are people Jeez. who played games in the Super Smash Brothers ah. series 1,000 or even 10,000 times. Huh? Anyway, the MBS, as it was called then, was sold in various places. Those are machines. Machine, it wasn't all that expensive. Ooh. Arcade machines. You could yeah, also get old the arcade machines. era. I was That's why you end up time. seeing lots of candy stores having a metal slug cabinet. Huh? The okay. home version of the Neo Geo <laughs> came with this controller. Yeah, See? look at that. It yeah. has four buttons. I remember those. And this yeah. is the actual console itself. The joystick controller. Here's the set button, and here you slot in the big Arcade game machines, arcade games. That's what the Neo Geo is. Geo. I don't remember hearing about it. Just kidding. Ah! What the heck? Actually, oh. this is the Neo Geo X, the portable version that was released afterward. That's funny, yeah. I can take it on the go. You could also insert it into this oh, docking station that's funny. and play it as a home console. Oh, wait, really? Beat Nintendo Switch to it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, portable yeah. multi-purpose console. It did Updated beat Nintendo Switch. Past yeah. systems are emblematic of the Neo Geo. That's cool. Next, let's talk about what Fatal Fury is. It released in 1991, the same year as Street Fighter 2. Yeah. But this one oh, came okay, later. Yeah. It launched after Street yeah. Fighter 2. Like ah. many of the other fighters, Fatal Fury was often regarded as a title that was developed to capitalize on the popularity of Street Fighter 2. But that's oh. not really the case. Actually, both Street Fighter 2 and Fatal Fury were developed using the original Street Fighter as a foundation. Oh, it's fire -ish. In fact, yeah, the development of like Fatal one. Fury was started by one of the planners of Street Fighter. Hmm. Did I just hear you say, wow? What? Did I? This one is also a multiplayer I don't know. fighting game. What am I saying? In Fatal the story, Fury. someone named Jeff Bogard is killed by Geese Howard. Terry Geese Bogard. Howard starts up a fighting tournament in South no, Town. To avenge his father's death, Terry enters the tournament, yep, which is that, known as that is inspired, all right. 
certain looks well, like I mentioned it. the term King of Fighters, something you may have heard before. God, that yes. music. There's actually a popular series called The King of Fighters, and that series was named <laughs> after the fighting tournament within the world of Fatal Fury. Oh. I've heard of the same series, I guess. And Terry Bogard, who is Looks the protagonist like of the Fatal Fury, also appears in all the games in the King of Fighters series as the one of the main character. characters. Oh, of course. I've seen that guy a couple bunch of times before. If you want to play a game from either of the Fatal Fury series no, or the, the King of Fighters before. series, many of them are available now on Nintendo Switch as part of the Arcade Archive series. That's you nice. may not know which Ooh. one to play first, but my recommendations from the Fatal Fury series would be Fatal Fury Special. Hmm. From the King of Fighters series, my recommendation would be the King of Fighters 95. No, no, no. But if you want to play a fighting game with all sorts of strategic elements, then I recommend the King of Fighters 98. <laughs> if I Next, want to play I'll give you some well. insight on Terry Boga. Actually, this video was recorded about one month prior to its release. Hmm. That's because we need to translate and edit videos like this one, and that takes time. Yeah, I bet. The game footage you see here is not from is. the final production ROM, so please understand that there may be some elements that differ from the final game. Since oh. we have the opportunity, I want to talk about Terry using a lot of SNK lingo, meaning huh. in this discussion, the younger generations may feel a little out of the loop. Uh. But there's <laughs> nothing to worry about. When we released the original Nintendo 64 version of Super Smash Bros., I was often asked, who is Samus? Huh? Whether or not the character is fun to play That's as funny. is more important than Super whether Smash the character is first new one. or old, or whether the character is recognizable to everyone. Well, the ultimate first one. I want to make sure I present Terry to you in such a way that you can fully understand his appeal. So thank you. Well, sure okay, thing. let's begin. Alright, let's do this. All right. Yay. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Challenger pick four, Terry Bogard, This is Terry Bogard in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Ew. He's still wearing an outfit that reflects the era of his original game, mm -hmm. but we did our best to make him look cool in a variety of ways. <laughs> yeah, right in front of he stands of next to Ryu. Ryu, it almost makes you wonder, is this really a Super Smash Bros. game? <laughs> Just like you, when you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, you'll fighters. face the opponent. Actually, he always looks in the opponent's direction. <laughs> Just Even like if Ryu. you move him to what a location the heck, behind the opponent, he'll quickly turn around, <laughs> always keeping his focus on the opponent. Hey. Let's talk about his two fighting moves. Please, please. His neutral attacks are jab. Those are real body fighting blow, moves. And high kick. Okay. Oh, look at those Each jabs. Move is something familiar from the Fatal Fury series. Mm. And his dash is power charge. Right into a party move. From two this actual move fighting moves into a party move. Special and others. In the original <laughs> series, it was one of his special moves. His tilt attacks are middle kick, deuce, deuce. rising upper, and under kick. What the, what the under kick? Compared to you, his attack speed is slower. <laughs> I can do cut and kick faster than you. No, I can't. <laughs> Funny. Compared. Now for smash attacks. Different. First up, backspin kick. Ooh, backspin kick. This smash attack is the equivalent to his strong attack, kick. but Kinda. the motion is even cooler than in his original series. Ooh. Next, wild upper and slide kick. Slide kick. Both are from the original series. Oh. Then his midair moves. Jump, Neutral. then chop. Chop, chop. Jump, then kick. Jump, then back kick. That's a game where you jump and kick people. And then somersault, somersault, kick. somersault kick. However, somersault this kick. somersault kick was not included in the original series. Oh? But we needed a move to attack Oh, up. okay. So we created a new move. Oh. He's got a new move in the series. Also, jump and then karate. So karate for a down air attack. Ah, if you successfully pull off the down air, it's possible to attack with a meteor effect, as you can see here. It's basically like views. Next, cool. I'll cover his throws. His okay. forward throw is his familiar Buster throw. His no. back throw is also Buster throw. All his moves from his games, of course. Throw, his neck breaker oh. drop. Neck breaker drop. Is in the game. In fact, he used it in the game Both Fatal Fury Wild Ambition. Fatal Fury Wild Ambition. I miss playing that game oh, that. Cyber Neo Geo 64. Back to hmm. And then, no, his up throw is before. Grasping Upper. Grasping this sort upper. of dodge attack can be performed after a spot dodge. Oh. I mentioned dodge attack. Hmm? And this actually does exist. During a spot dodge, immediately press the button to counterattack. 
This one is weak and kind of slow, and this one is strong, fast. So it sounds like you said. In his original game, you used three buttons, so there were weak, medium, and strong attacks. For Terry Bogard, you could use four buttons in his original game, but there were only two buttons for punch. So that's why he only has two attack levels, weak and strong. This rule applies to all of his special attacks, so please keep that in mind. By the way, the attack power wave is a move that shoots energy along the ground. But how does it look in the air? In his original game, you couldn't use this move in the air. This is how it looks now. As of the King of Fighters in the, air, let's go. the power wave ability had a shorter range, so we've recreated that version of the move. It's a useful move in midair and helps huh. keep opponents in check. Next, we have a special performed while holding in the direction of your opponent, Burning Knuckles. Burning Knuckles. This move also has a weak and strong version, as well as a command input. Huh. Like the Hadouken command input from Street command Fighter input. 2, you perform this command using the directional input, down, mm -hmm. to the side, in yep. the direction of your opponent, and then press the button. Yep. Doing so makes the move a bit stronger. Woo! You actually do those in Smash Bros. too. Burning directional input. Commands. Weak without command, command input. Puts. And strong without command input. I know Ryu does the same thing in this game. With command input. I don't remember him. And strong with command input. The strong ah. version using the command input is of That's course cool. the most powerful. Yeah. You'll hear a noise when you input the command. <laughs> That's a sound effect. And if you've succeeded, <laughs> you might also notice the green mixing with the flames. Oh. It may That's be slight, cool. but there is a difference. Nice. Yeah, I like how you can still do the, the command inputs. Really Aside from just simple bot nerd tilt joystick. It can be blocked, however. The so normal the Smash Bros. way. Locked In such a case, shield. you'll be left wide open. Because Ryu can do that. And this is a first for the Super Smash Brothers series. But the side it. specials are split into two versions. A back huh. special and a front special. That means there's one more side special than usual. Crack shoot. Huh. Crack shoot. This is a familiar move from his original what? game. There's Ooh. also a command input version. It's performed by using the directional buttons yeah. down to the back, Sunglass. followed by the A or B button. The reverse direction. There we. The command version huh. can launch your opponent quite a bit further. It creates a bit of an arc, so it can be used as an anti-air attack when your opponents try to hit you. Yeah. At close range, if you happen to be blocked by a shield, it's okay. hard to be counter-attacked because you'll pass through them. Shield. There's something I want you to remember. Look, when you do a crack shoot off-screen, this is how it will look. What? Terry swings with his whole body when using Burning Knuckle in crack shoot, so it can be hard to recover. Ouch. Careful. However, if you hmm. keep pressing backwards without inputting commands, you should be able to initiate okay. crack shoot in the direction you're trying to recover. Back on stoops. Let okay. me show you one more time. Do this, Ooh. then continue to press backward. Ooh. And then you can recover. That's a nice recovery. If you press too quickly or input some commands, you'll fly right off the stage. So be oh careful. no! Oops, don't want that to happen. And Ooh. this is his up special, Rising Tackle. Rising Tackle. It also has weak and strong what? versions, each with differing heights. What? What? And did you oh, notice that said. if you hold down briefly to charge, your whole body glows a little? So complicated. In this case, your whole body will be it's invincible. Simplified. Either way, your legs will be invincible. Here's an example of this invincibility in action. With the standard rising tackle. Normal rise and tackle. I got completely oh. wiped out when I threw myself at the I'm gonna get knocked back a slow mo. But with mm. rising tackle's charged command version. Uh oh. There's no knockback? You can't oh. be hit at this moment. The shield. So you come out on top. The super armor. Is that what I meant to say? 
It's like a, it does a good cancel down. I guess. As a recovery as well. Mm hmm Recovery moves. Up easily. Even after Ouch. using burning knuckle or crack shoot, you can still use rising tackle. This is also very helpful when you're trying to recover, so please keep that in mind. All right. This down special is power dunk. Power dunk. Ooh. It's like complicated yet simplified. It's complicated moves yet simplified. This is that's how fighting games are. They got this these side, down input leg, commands. Down command input is also known as the Shoryuken command. Yep, Smash Bros is just one button and direction inputs. If you can pull it off, Simple you'll side. be invincible at the start of the move. Part of you with the two actual fighting characters also, from the actual fighting game. Also, you can hear a sound when it connects. Jeez. Jeez. But it might be tough to make out. The sound, the difference from now, the sound. Now, let's talk about that canceling detail. specials. Canceling I'd specials. I'd really like you to keep this in mind. Hmm. All right. First, if you use a special after attacking with a standard attack, mm, this is a clobo. The special special. won't come out until the move animation has finished. Okay. That makes sense, right? Yeah, sure. But here's what happens if you cancel out of it. Okay. What? Cancel At this moment special here, move. If you've successfully entered a special command input, the rest of the animation will be canceled, allowing oh. you to attack again immediately. Huh? I'll do that again. Ooh. Throw out a kick like normal. Oh my, is it lagging? No, it's just slow mode. Extends, okay. You'll perform the move. Do you have to time that? The quick? Oh. Set it up so that when you attack, you can go straight into a special. This is just with this isn't just with this those characters, right? Options. This is with Please other characters too. For example, neutral attack one, two. And power dunk. This is a bread and butter combo. Those combos. Aside from that, do, do, do. you can also get Terry to fly out and attack influence. in an M shape. That's in hard. In his original game, you could only cancel attacks on the ground, but in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it's possible to cancel aerial moves. Hmm. Yeah. It's a little different. The types of aerial attacks that you can cancel are limited view. to things like neutral air attacks or this down air attacks. They don't fear anymore. It's Smash Bros. But I think it would be wise to use these combos to expand your offensive options. Oh. And at last, uh -oh, the final smash. Let's see this. The final smash begins with the triple geyser. Oh! Terry will shoot three geysers straight forward. Hello. Move it closer However, to you. If you think that's all, you're very mistaken. Oh, there's more? Uh oh. Oh! 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 oh that's awesome! I love that. As you can see, oh. the triple geyser connects. You'll follow up with Power Dunk and Buster Wolf. It's three moves in one. It's a visually striking combo. Yeah, that's awesome. You like may much. be wondering what happened to his original super special moves. Oh? Yes, they're here too. Hey! Wow. With the what usual are they? Rules, I haven't played when the Terry's games. damage meter rises up to 100% or higher, and in stamina go. mode, when his overall HP drops to 30% or less, you'll see this go icon at God, the bottom. God, so many characters are unique in this game. So at this point, smooth. if you enter the specific command... Ooh, dude! You what can initiate that? the power geyser you see here. <laughs> the command input is, if I borrow the way it's said in the original game, uh -huh. down, down, angle down, angle down, side, side, angle down, forward. Oh, that's hard for me to remember. Well, it's a bit complicated. Yeah. Downward, Fighting games then are complicated. Then forward. Okay. You see? Yeah. Yep. Fighting games are complicated. It is an Smash Bros. is like a watered so down, simplified, hard to game or a fighting game. game. In that case, no matter which direction you're going for, just swap the right input and left input. It's complicated it's command like inputs and downwards, 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 then backwards, Smash Bros. doesn't have that. Or down, and then the opposite Side direction, blades, and just that's forward. Like, like a swing and almost. And then, there's this other super special move. Oh, what's the other one? Like, ha, it's like Buster a swap. Buster Wolf. You can oh, initiate this the one by repeating the Hadouken command input do, twice. Do. Down to side, then what down to side what again. <laughs> That's Hadouken's command? <laughs> Fly away, pop the wall! It can be rather difficult that. to pull off moves using the original game's command inputs, but you can also use simplified command inputs. In the huh. case of Power Geyser, remember this. Down, side, down, forward. 
as long as you input the command downward God, side to, like to the back, downward again, and then forward, you should be fine. Okay. In it's the like case of Buster Wolf, it's cheat codes. Down, it's like side, down, side. Downside, downside, downside. That should be easier to remember. Okay, yeah. Even though it's the like command entering into cheat complex, codes. It can still God. Be blocked with ease. Air complex. Smash Bros. is next to Simplified. Since these when Terry has taken a lot of damage, you'll be in even more danger if your opponent blocks. How far the games are. So they're high risk yeah. and high return. Please save them for when you really need to make a last Because they got a lot more moves, a whole list of moves and again, fighting moves. Smash Bros. just has only your four or five may moves. Your predict your move and take action. Essentially, it's best to use it when it's least expected, or to cancel out of a combo, like this. Hmm. That's nice. For the taunt, like I decided do that, to match his original game. All right. His up taunt is "Hey, come on, come on!" from the King of Fighters series. Come on, come on. His down taunt spins his hat like in the real bout series. <laughs> and his side taunt is "Stand up" from Guttel, Mark of the Wolves. Uh, <laughs> I demonstrated uh, him using various special uh, moves in the game so far, and you can hear his voice. What? What? Like that. Uh. We've incorporated both his longer oh. remarks, like Power Wave, from older titles, and his shorter voices. remarks, like Rock You, from newer Rock titles. You. Rock you. Uh. And here are his color variations. There's a good variety of colors available from across uh -huh. the series, and the cap design is slightly yeah, different from each version. No, they're not. They're based on his original games, and we've also included some from the King of Fighters 14 huh. and the anime series. Original games. Oh, anime series. Oh, right, there's an anime series. I think I, I, think I noticed that before. I thought you mentioned it. He sometimes yeah. takes off his cap, too. For example, it happens during his victory pose. Victory! His cap also blows away when he is defeated in stamina mode. Ah! Dude, there's goes his calf. I see his calf. I was like, King of Fire Stadium. The stage is called King of Fighter yeah. Stadium. Oh, the next stage. Of course, I've already seen like it. looks like one hardcore fighting coliseum. Mm hmm Sure. The text above the Definitely jungle reads, King of like, Fighters, without like the... When huh. we talk about a game title, we need the up front. But the name of the tournament in the game's story is just King of Fighters. King this is fires. a very unique stage, and King it follows some rules that haven't existed in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before. Mm. Yeah. First, the edge is walled off. Oh. In the Super Smash Bros. series, oh. you need to launch opponents off the stage. Mm-hmm. Dude. Here, however, the more damage a fighter has accumulated, the more the wall will visually react when they're launched oh. into it. Can you see? Oh, that's Eventually, cool. Yeah, I like the... Fighters will break right through the wall. Oh, I like there that. are fireworks in the back. Break through the wall. Basically, this Fight special feature wall. allows you to Fight KO an opponent wall. only after they've accumulated yes. enough damage. Build up enough damage so you get through the wall. It's like an invisible wall, like breaking that way, the fourth you can wall enjoy almost. The more like you would Fight through your screen. Get this off my move. Get out of here. It's possible to KO even when the damage is low. It's just like in regular stages. Yeah, can't kill you in low In the real about Fatal Wait. Fury series, there was a feature in which the walls could be destroyed mm. and players could suffer a ring out when they hit the wall. Ah. This isn't exactly the same, but we made it kind of similar to that. Also had walls. Oh. We hope you'll enjoy playing at the stage with all its special rules. I like this. Keeps everyone in the ring like a cage match almost. Oh, I love that. It's just funny the way it looks. Like, ah! By the way, there are guest characters in the background, right? Since Out of here. Have the opportunity, I'd like to introduce them to you. Ooh, look at the guy, the guys in the background. Wait, I think I know that female character. I've seen that female one. I've seen a few of these characters from time to time. When I haven't played the game. He's the brother of Terry Bogart. Both of them were adopted from an orphanage and raised by Jeff Bogart. Yeah, yeah. However, while Terry's teacher was Jeff Bogart, Andy studied under Mai Shiranui's father. He uses the Kopoken fighting style. Okay. Joe Higashi. He's one of the three main characters from earlier games in the Fatal Fury series. He's the only one that doesn't have any connection to Geese Howard. He's a Muay Thai champion. Because I know martial arts. He's the master of the Holy Fist of Eight Ways, and he oh. also trained Jeff Bogart. He can Trained enlarge him. his body as well. 
So this is like Billy Sensei Kane. Master or something. He's been in many Fatal Fury yeah. games since the first one, and he's the right hand man of Geese Howard. While he appears in the first stuff. game, his costume is based on his appearances in King of Fighters 97 onwards. You can't really see his back, but the no smoke symbol is definitely there. Hmm. Geese Howard. He's the big boss of South Town. <laughs> and he's the rival of Terry Bogard. <laughs> Falling off of buildings is a <laughs> Look at him <laughs> Rock Howard. His first appearance was Garo, Mark of the Wolves. Huh. He's the son of Geese Howard, and Terry actually Ooh. raised him. Huh? That means his appearance in this game at this age with that look doesn't really jive with the timeline, but Smash is kind of like that to begin with, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Kim Kapwan. He uses Taekwondo and considers himself hey! a fighter for justice. I know his Taekwondo myself. Is very famous. Yuji Yamazaki. Cool. His first appearance was in Fatal Fury 3, and huh. he's a criminal known as Dark Broker. Oh. He's very selfish and sadistic. Oof. Blue Mary. Her first appearance was Hello. in Fatal Fury 3, too. Ooh. She uses combat sambo, <laughs> and she's a good drinking buddy of Terry's. Okay. Those uh, were the characters from the Fatal Fury series, uh, but from fire. here on, let me introduce characters from Who other poses? series. Who's poses? Athena Asamiya. She's hey, a psycho Athena. soldier. Psycho Soldier is a memorable game released around 1986, and it was the first oh. title to feature a fully voiced theme song within the game. This epic song was also released for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and it was recorded in both Japanese and English. Oh, music well, start. How about that? Kyoku Sanagi. He's the protagonist of the King of Fighters series, and he uses the ancient martial arts Xanagiryu. Huh. Speaking of the protagonist, there are differences depending on which version you're talking about, like Orochi and Nest. Mm. Anyway, he is forever a school kid. Huh. Okay. Iori Yagami. Originally, ah, he was introduced as Kyoku guy. Sanagi's rival, but when I first saw this character in the game at the time, due to his look and attitude, I thought, whoever created this character must be a genius. Huh. That's funny. Yeah, Goro right. Daimon. He's a judo gold medalist belonging to the Japanese team, and he likes to throw his opponents. Looks like a wrestler. Chang ah. and Choi Bonge. <laughs> One is an escaped convict, what and the, the other is a slasher. They are currently slasher, undergoing huh? rehabilitation under the previously mentioned Kim Kapwan. Would be a reference to Fred Krueger by the chance, Jones would he? and Clark Still. <laughs> uh. Originally, they were main characters in the Ikari Warriors series before Neo Geo. Huh. They appeared as guests in the Metal Slug series, too. Yo Sakazaki, the protagonist of Art God, of Fighting. Characters. The original Art of Fighting was released just before Fatal Fury 2. That means it was the first game to implement a true super special move. How could I not include him? <laughs> Kate, her first appearance was in Art of Fighting, and she's a bouncer and bodyguard. She's a beautiful woman with an androgynous sense of style. Yeah. Next, Yuri Sakazaki. She was kidnapped in the first Art of Fighting game, but after this that, she trained hard and mastered Kyokugen Karate in just one year. In uh, other words, she's a genius. Poses in this. It's funny. So, as like, you can see, we've included many characters. A total of 20 characters. Wow. You know, it's very cumbersome. Yeah. I mean, it takes a lot of time. But so many people They're love each and every one of these characters, even outside the confines of their individual Ooh, with the so we simply had to do our best by them. <laughs> by the way, you may have noticed that a very important character from the Fatal Fury series was not included. Oh? Yes, Mai Shiranui. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is for good huh. boys and girls of many different ages, so we decided not huh? to feature her. Please forgive us. Oh. Okay. Also, I know that character now. And the music that plays affects which special guests. That's understandable. Here. Completely understandable. <laughs> There's a track called Pasta, and when the music is playing, Andy Bogart will always appear. Makes sense why she's not there. I hope you look Don't forward to that as well. Hmm. Completely understandable, Sakurai. It's a family friendly game, not. That kind of game to see a character okay, there. I'm done providing information, so now let's jump into some actual battles. Uh, this time ooh. I'm going to play the Terry route of classic mode. Hey, On top classic of that, mode. I want to try and hit the highest intensity level. Let's see if I can get all the way up to intensity 9.9. .9. Snap. 
Honestly, playing the game in extreme difficulty while doing commentary is extremely hard. No kidding, I know what that's like. I do that a lot in my videos. Doing both at once forces me to divide my attention. But that means I should do my best at both. That's what I do in my own videos. I would know how First, I would know so this how hard that is. The King of Smash. <laughs> Three characters who have some sort of oh. connections will appear as a set. A oh. challenge that looks somehow familiar. Ah. Not Mario. Oh. Okay, the first intensity level is 5.0. Oh. So I should be fine. All battles in Terry's this? route are stamina oh. battles. This stage's special KO rule that I talked about earlier isn't the best match for stamina rules, but oh well. The On his stage. route, a lot of stages feel like they're from a traditional fighting game. Ooh. Just disappear. Okay, I did it anyway. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, it is hard to concentrate and commentate at the same time. As a content course, creator, I would know in that. Mode, it's not impossible for me to try for a KO, but normally <laughs> it'll be over before that. Oh. Yeah. Right through the wall. Done. <laughs> Looks like he's saying, "Give me something." Give me something, really. Next round two. It's the Legend of Zelda team. On Just the because Pokemon characters stage? are in a team because of their similarities, that doesn't mean that they have to be from the same game. Huh? I see. Yeah, those two do look similar. Kim Kapwan's team, and I've got it set up so that we don't move from the bottom of Prison Tower. More like tunery, it would not be easiest to simply I'm knock bad. him off the screen, but I'm not going to do that because it's not as fun to watch. Nah. Eh. Oops, they knocked him off. Here he goes. Here. Go. Come here. Ah! Get back in the stage. It's gonna blow. Will oh, no. really he do it? <laughs> Just finish him, dude. Get him, get him. Ah! All right. He's down. The of course I got him. Back. Oh. Mm. And I can't go to the edge. Ah. Oh no! Huh? Come back in! Ah. The tables no. have turned. Tables have turned. Oh? Snap and get him. Cancelled it. Ah, it was dim. You wears his cap backward when he does a power dunk. Okay. God, him in those details. Call this the giant King K. Rool. All the giants are lined up. Of yep, course, the, the music guys. is Taku and Steppy. The heavyweights. You Ouch. might wonder who Taku and Steppy are. But it seems like it means mm. Tanaka and Kitamura. This, this track mm -hmm. is from Fatal Fury 2. Mm -hmm. There's a giant wrestler named Big Bear, and this is his track. Oh. Regardless of the track name, it's a really famous hard rock song. So please give it a listen. Oh! It's gone. Right in the back. It, ooh, big the original song was called You Shall I Dance. There's that masked wrestler. Masked wrestler. He's like the big, big heavyweight character. True identity. He's called Raiden. Raiden. Oh, I don't know if I said that right. Ah! Ooh, did it. Of course. I'm beginning to find the intensity quite tough. Round this four. This is their stage. The whole atmosphere is a little different than how it's been up until now, right? Hmm. We've been to arena style flat stages, but suddenly uh -huh. we're at a battlefield yeah. form stage. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. there's an item. Huh. Item. It's like, now we see there's an, an arcade item. arcade game series called Athena. And this Athena. stage uses that as a motif. Oh, he's metal. No. Nah. Of course it's metal. Now that That's... I'm thinking about it, I huh. suppose both Lady Palutena and the Athena games were possibly an homage to the Athena of Greek mythology. Huh. I like mythology. Plus, I wanted to do something where two characters who are similar or have similar abilities are together. Huh. It's a nice Kokugenyu team. Yeah, hit, dark hit, start talking about. And with, and with those items. If I let my guard down, I'll easily be defeated, so I need to pay attention. Alright. Not bad, you. Ah, out. After all, you created the characters. You created Tit and Dark Tit, didn't you? 
No. By the way, I don't know. So there's a clone. Use moves like crack shoot to aim for Who the hell so they have some utility. Said that. Who did Kirby? I, I don't know about Kuda Cruz. That was close. Looks like that fire bar didn't work out for her. Oop. Athena. Greek mythology. Yeah. The goddess of wisdom. It's getting brutal. That's Athena. The intensity is close Greek to mythology. Now it's getting harder. You could say the opposing team is comprised of heroes from different companies. So he Sonic has... and Terry are on the stage. Actually, huh. Sonic and Terry were both created in 91, so they're the same age. Huh. About that. And the God. next year, in 92, Kirby was born. Uh, and he created Kirby. Uh, he created no Kirby. It was getting old. They're still a gun. That's because they're like cartoon characters. You know, it's easier to fight Fictional characters. Time. They don't really age in the parents much. Shoot, it's especially easy going uphill. I don't know. Yikes. That's the thing about cartoons. I started oh, out with 150 HP, so I feel like I'm losing. Next, oh. Mega Man. Right. He was born in 87. The first Street Fighter came out in 87 as well, so that makes Ryu the same age. Huh. That's Talking about it. What? He's like, come on! Ah, he went off. I'm sorry. And now, Pac Man from 1980 is here. Of yeah, course, this. this character was made by Bandai Namco Studios, mm -hmm. but when I talk to their team, I'll call him your company's character. Huh. They always come back saying, oh yeah, our company's character. <laughs> oh yeah! I often have these kinds of exchanges with them. Funny. Oh, that was close. Oh snap. But oh, I won't crap. give in until the very end. Oh god. Because I've got a super special move. Careful. Oh, you're just gonna use it. Ooh, nice. Not enough? I see. Dim -dim well, how about now? There we go. Woo! Use two special. It's bad to keep using the same move. Seriously. Ah! Yeah, don't use the same move. What he just Next, said. You could call this Team Darkness. Yeah. Team Darkness. God, this is a long With video. Track, soy sauce for geese. Playing what? on the rooftop. It's got the aura of a final showdown. Huh. Oh, not good. Ooh. Uh oh. Up next ah. is Ganondorf. I don't want to get hit by him. Uh oh. Not He's huge. Mm hmm. It's one of the strongest characters. You can't take things lightly in most like this one. Oh, man. I don't know, I'm not talking about in terms of meta, but whatever. Don't care much about That's meta games. Move. Heavyweight characters, that's what I'm saying. Heavyweights are the strongest characters. Alright, can I do this without getting hit? Ah, I got him. Now for a scary one, Bayonetta. Uh oh. Everyone's like, oh, pee! Uh oh, yep. Yep, I'm giving this everything I've got. Huh. Oh, he looks like he's doing fine. We're not challenging at all for him to He makes this look like it's not that hard, to be honest. Sakurai. Oh, what just happened? What happened? Oh. She's so good. What's going on? Oh, snap. I don't know what's going on right now. It's buffering. So why is it buffer like this? I didn't do that in the actual video, did it? Nope, this is weird. Ah, suffering in the uh, next recording here. Don't tell me I had something to do with my connection. Please start back up again. That was there, a beautiful move. There we go. I don't know why I was doing that. That was weird. But she couldn't take advantage of that opportunity. Ooh. That's cost her a lot. It was just taught as the female. Let's go buffering. I don't know why I did that. Time for the final battle. It's not Master Hand, but Ryu, Ken, and then Terry. Uh, Art of Fighting version 230000.0 is playing. In other uh, words, it's kind of a theme fight. Zero, 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 zero. He's super strong, so I have to work hard. Ah, the quality. I'm not Ugh. facing this out very well. I'm go. starting from 150 HP, so I wish I defeated Ryu before my HP dropped to 100. Ouch. But I can't give up until the end. Ooh. I have a super special. Ryu, you know. Yeah, fighting, fighting, fighting characters. 
so he can use the same super special move. But this oh. is no time for chit chat. <laughs> it's really tough doing this while talking. Oh no! Yeah, I bet. That it is. This is no good. Got it! Oh, got him. Oh, snap. It gets even tougher from here. This is getting harder. Looks like it. Now he's gonna fight himself. Go away! Go away! That's what it sounds like he's saying. I don't know. Perfect shield. I don't know. Misinterpreting what he's saying. Uh oh. Dang. Comes, I gotta be on guard. Oh, snap. Ooh. Did it. Yeah, but with a power wave? Okay. Huh. If I could have pulled off a super special move, that would have been awesome. But, <laughs> alright, did I make it to intensity 9.9? Funny. Yes, Ooh. I did. That was hard work. Wow. He made it look easy. Not kidding. Hey. Hey. Terry Bogard is really fun to play as, so I hope you enjoy playing as him in such situations. So that's the, that's what the classic mode looks like for him. It's all, like all stamina. Next, let's talk about the music. This time we have something very special lined up for you. For instance, when we were deciding which songs to include in this set, we thought about concentrating on songs related to Terry. But there were a lot of big band style songs that didn't really fit the mood of battle. Hmm. That aside, the music of SNK has always been great, right from the beginning. Hmm. So this time, we selected tracks that could well, be called SNK style. I like the music. So basically, we expanded the selection a bit to include series outside of just Fatal Fury and The King of Fighters. Hmm. SNK songs have always been great, really. This was true before Neo Geo, and all the way from the old The King of Fighters games to the arrangements in the latest installment, The King of Fighters 14. Mm. We did a lot of digging around, and finally managed to narrow our many candidates down to 50 songs. It tracks. There's a lot. <laughs> we never intended to do something like this, of course. So we submitted our 50 proposals to SNK, expecting them to pick out maybe 10 or 20 that they considered acceptable. Mm. But they told us they were, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> As a result, yeah. we've pretty much added in 50 songs. <laughs> Have a look at the list. All right. Jeez, look at all those songs. I actually That's played how we the ended games up with myself. the list we have, but we worked hard to deliver some of the best remixes. Dove, dove, duck, dove, this dove. was a very special one-off case, and I don't think we'll be able to do the same for other series. To be honest, I think that being able to hear such a selection might make the fighter's pass worth quite a bit more than its price. Dang. I do hope you'll enjoy it. A lot of stuff. Challenge we'll Pack 4 comes with a spirit board too. The spirit board can be selected via the spirits menu. Hmm. Yep, spirits. Have a look at the background. If it looks familiar to you, you'll start feeling pretty nostalgic. Shinjiro-san's <laughs> artwork is always so nice and vibrant. Arcade style. You can also look forward to mock tournaments featuring each of the characters. That old school Athena and Ralph and Clark artwork really is something. Hmm. <laughs> now for the Mii Fighters. Please have a look. All right, new fighters now. Hey. Oh, Hello. Ah. So we showdown. Hey. Oh. Took up. Ah, we the background. Art of Fighting. Uh, hello. Whoa, okay. Ah, sorry about the buffering. I don't know why it's buffering for me. Maybe it's my... Oh, snap. There we go. Dang it, this sucks. It was buffering. <laughs> the Brawler. The King of Fighters. Hey, now you can play as him as a new fighter. This guy's in there. Virtual fighter. Hey, Akira. 
Uh, ah, a little. Oh, oh yeah. It's like, bring it. Check who. Yeah, they're from Virtual Fighter. Oh, there's the kill right there. It's a just this trophy. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. Fighting characters. Or fighting games. Jeez, that's buffering is no good. Wish it wasn't happening like this, but yeah. Ugh. Nasty buffering. Why? Come on. Wait in. This ain't the good. What's going on here? Come on, really that much nit left? Let's stop the friend. There we go. Ah! Don't know why it's doing that. Gotta go check up on the internet with that. November 6th today. As we were recording this, because it's. Yeah, it came out today. November SSK 6. was also involved with the Mii Fighter set this time, so it has a strong fighting game influence. Yeah. It borrows a lot from the series Nakorudu comes from, like her wind slash attack, so I hope you'll enjoy those little details. Moving on to Amiibo, here's the new lineup. Nah, way over there. Hello. Simon, Krom, and Incineroar. Each of these will be released on Friday, November 15th. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here's a six update. It's Next, out let's today. discuss the details of the update. It's out We've now. made some improvements to battle arenas. <laughs> well, first, we're making it so you can send messages to each other in a battle arena. That's nice. The messages are preset. So there's that, and also the player who created the arena Ooh. can now change the rules. We've also added the option to play either battlefield form or omega form at random in the stage settings. Aside from that, you can now pick Elite only as an arena type. Huh? Furthermore, oh. quick play won't be the only way to play with people you don't know. Mm. As long as the arena type is set to public and no password is set, we've made it so anyone is now free to join. So oh. I hope you'll enjoy that. That's this. Terry that is sounds due great. for distribution on November 6th. Yep. If you have the fighter's pass, Today. you'll be able to get him straight away, or you can purchase him separately. I already have them now, because I already have the fighter pass. Well, I think that wraps it up for our Terry Bogard showcase. All right. I hope we were able to convey his appeal. By mm. the way, his reveal trailer was aired in advance. It was created using SNK right. pixel art. Oh. The complete version of it, including the gameplay portion, is finally ready. I'd like to show it to you after this. All right. Yeah, I want to see it. Now, this is something of an inside story. I was going to watch after this. I, of course, this. wrote the plot for SNK's pixel art packed reveal trailer. Mm hmm. When the invitation comes out, you might recall how it says, Don't be late, S. <laughs> that is not what I wrote. Okay. It makes me think, ugh, this is why I hate inside jokes. After leaving it to the staff, it snuck its way in there. <laughs> that is funny. I just want you to know that the S is also the Super Smash Brothers series S. Okay. But let's move on to the intro. Don't delay do Super Smash Bros. Uh, let's see this. I was gonna watch this after this, but it's part of the same video. No wonder why it's so long. Neo Geo! Max 330. It's It's like an arcade machine console. Didn't I already see this? I feel like I already saw this when they revealed them. Are they showing it again? Why would they show it again? Unless it's slightly different. It's a little different this time. They showed this already, didn't they? Yeah, did they already show this? Yeah, they all try to get the envelope. That was a little different. The one I was talking about that was after this. I guess I'll see it again. Falls <laughs> down. Get it! No! Couldn't get the envelope. Not for you! It's like, who's getting it? I didn't see that. Don't do it. Yep, here's this guy again. Laughing because he didn't get the invitation, I guess. <laughs> really? Someone's a genius for creating that character? And there's Terry. 
Yep, that will work. He's pixel in style. Hey, come on! Alright, Terry, face to Terry. Oh, this is the full video. They show a little bit what they showed before, and here's. Woo, this is what I was talking about. That's what I wanted to see. Ah, uh, Kirby with the hat on. Uh, yeah, there's the stage again. Oh, Cloud Strength, out! Is it Cloud Strength? Oh, man. Oh, ah, we're out of here. Ah, I love that ultimate. Ah, that's awesome! Okay! 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 <laughs> he says okay. Snare the ultimate! Yeah, that's the one I was gonna watch after this video, but it's in the same video. Alright, how about that? And that's it? That's the end of the video! We crammed in a little too much content this time. Hopefully, okay. I'll be able to make future showcases a little shorter. <laughs> Alright, see ya, Sakurai. Yeah, well, how about that? That was fun, I enjoyed watching that. So yeah, see, this is it right here. I was gonna watch this next. I think what we just saw just now was this video. Of course it was. It was this. So, it's all in crowns in one video. You're welcome, Sakurai. Thanks for sure. Showing all right. So, can't wait to start playing it. Yeah, I know all the past. And then saying and then trying to get videos that Smash Bros. uploaded. Expect to see some after this video uploaded. No, I have no doubts about that. So, yeah, we'll start uploading them after this video. Definitely. No doubt. I know I have, just, like, been way too long since I haven't uploaded any yet. It's like, what the heck? I'm so busy with other videos. But, it should happen this month. It should. So, alright. It was fun watching that. Was expecting it to be that long. That was a really long video. Plus, this video is long too. So, all right. Yeah. Don't know what else to say other than expect to see Smash Bros. videos upload probably after this. Definitely, I'll probably be checking out this character, of course, too. And I'll probably do the classic mode as well. You know, we just all stuck around playing the classic mode. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna play banjo and all that also. So, yep, alright. That's enough. Alright, let me know what you guys thought about this. Re guys, yeah, there you have it. That was my reaction to this. This was my reaction video. That was my reaction to that presentation there. So, alright. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments down below. If you liked it, hold on, wait. Let me think something there for a sec. Usually when I end off, I usually put like this. There we go. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do this every time I'm done doing a reaction video. But, well, yeah. Like I said, I enjoyed watching that, so hope to start playing it. I will probably start playing it again. And we'll start seeing videos upload in November, like I said. We will call it like, alright. Anyways, yeah. Like I said before, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like this video, tell me I smash it like that, like, ah! Oh! Oh, 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 you can just shut up. Oh, oh, let's shut up. No, I didn't like it. Oh, it's so naughty. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, just, 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 just hit the like button. If you like it, it's up to you, really. Or, if you'd like to see more from me or any of my other reaction videos or other videos, like seasonal event videos, playthroughs, whatever. Or if you want to see me do some Smash Bros. videos, which I will be uploading after, soon after this video. Just the month of me... Well, Alright, I don't know how to put that, that word out, but if you'd like to see any of that from really, YouTube, you can subscribe. It's all up to you, really. You can subscribe, it's up to you, really. Of course it's up to you. It's all up to me, too, so... Alright, yeah. And with that said, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Oh, yeah.